Today, we're checking out a really good USB condenser microphone kit. And this one's by a company called Zingyu. It comes with everything you need to get it all set up and ready to use. It's basically plug and play, and guess what? You're hearing audio from the microphone right now. The entire kit is going for $54.99 out there on Amazon. But the first thing we're gonna do First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you everything you get in the box with this kit. Then we're gonna come back, do some audio samples, and that's just so you can get a really good sense of what you can get out of this mic. Let's go, y'all. Yeah. I was born in the city, I was raised on its Okay, let me show you exactly what comes in the box here so you know exactly what you're getting with this microphone kit. Okay, let's clear it away. Okay, so you're getting a windscreen to cut down on those plosives. Puh, 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 plosives. All right, you get a shock mount, and this is to reduce low frequency vibrations that might pass through the mic stand or the mic itself. And here's the table mount clamp, and we'll be using this in a moment to mount the mic to the table here. You get what looks like four Velcro cable ties, USB cable, because this is a USB condenser microphone, wind muff, and here's the microphone. It actually feels really lightweight, but there it is. There's the input for the USB, and this is the adjustable mic stand slash boom arm. And you can see this is spring loaded. Okay, let's get it all mounted now. Oh, I forgot to mention, you actually do get a user manual. do some reading samples here in just a moment but first let's kind of talk about positioning where you want to position the microphone now this room that I'm in does not have any sound treatment the walls are bare so it's not going to deaden the sound at all so if you're in a room similar to this one of the best things you can do is to make sure you're close enough to the microphone now a good rule of thumb here no pun intended good rule of thumb is to be about six inches from the microphone just like this see that so i'm about six inches that way you're going to cut down on some of that reverb and echo okay the other thing we're going to do is we're going to test out this uh, windscreen i have a really good microphone but i haven't been using a windscreen um, it's the microphone I use in most of my videos to do most of my voiceovers but without the use of a windscreen like the one that comes in this kit you're gonna pick up plosives so plosives are when you speak words like puh puh Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers if Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers how many pecks of pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick How's it sounding y'all? Is it sounding pretty good? Okay, now the other thing we're gonna kinda test out here is the shock mount. The shock mount is supposed to cut down on vibrations that make their way through the boom arm and through the mic itself. So I'm just gonna kinda tap on the table here. I'm just kinda tapping and we're gonna see how much of that is being picked up through the mic and I'm actually tapping on the base of the boom arm now, tapping on the actual boom arm itself, and it's low, the low frequencies is what it's gonna pick up. And I'm actually gonna move the mic and see if it's gonna pick up any of that. Okay, now I've listened back to the audio myself. I've listened back to it and I'm impressed by this microphone. I'm really, really impressed. Like I said, I use the Audio-Technica AT2020. It's a $100 microphone. I use it in pretty much all of my videos, but 
the sound that I'm getting from this microphone is rivaling that. And this is USB, a USB microphone. The Audio-Technica AT2020 uses uh, an XLR cable and I connect it to a USB interface with phantom power. So I, I don't have to do all of that with this. It's just plugging in and go. How's it sounding so far, y'all? So the microphone has a cardioid pickup pattern. So all that means is it's going to pick up more audio from in front of the microphone and the sides and not so much from the back. So as I move around the microphone towards the back, we should um, hear a difference here. We should not be picking up as much audio. Let's come back, let's come back, let's come back, and then around to this side. Same deal, same deal. Okay, now let's get you some audio samples, you guys. We're gonna read The King of the Birds from Grimm's Fairy Tales. Move this on over. Okay, a bear and a wolf were walking together in the woods. Listen, brother wolf, said the bear. What bird is that singing? That is the king of the birds, said the wolf. We must treat him with great respect. The wolf was in fun, for it was only a little wren. The wren is sometimes called the hedge king. Is that the king of the birds, said the bear. I have long wished to see the home of a king. Come and show me his house. Wait till the queen comes home, said the wolf. Soon, Jenny Wren came in sight, bringing food for her little ones. The king did not choose a very beautiful mate, said the bear. Let us follow and see their home. But the wolf held him back. No, let us wait until the king and the queen go away, he said. When the wrens flew away, the bear and the wolf went to the tree. The bear climbed up to peep into the nest. There he saw five young birds. Do you call this a king's house? He cried to the wolf. Why, it is only a cloud of mud and grass. In it are five ugly little things with big mouths and no feathers. The young wrens heard and were very angry. We are not ugly little things, they cried, and our home is all that heart could wish. You shall be made to beg our pardon for such a speech. Okay, stop the video. Let me jump in here with a quick parenthetical insertion. I want to talk about a couple of things that are not included on this mic that um, I think would be good features. One of them um, is the lack of a headphone jack. So you can't monitor um, the audio from the mic. Uh, there's nothing on the microphone that allows you to plug in and do that. There's some other ways you can go about it with your uh, PC uh, or Mac setup, um, but you know, with a kit like this, it would be good to see some type of headphone jack. In addition to that, maybe some type of gain control as well. And neither exists on this microphone. Um, but hey, like I said in the opening, this is a really good mic. Those couple of things don't really take away from it that much. All right, back to the video. Okay, you guys, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up just so the video isn't super, super long but hopefully you got enough of uh, an audio sample to determine whether you like the sound coming from this microphone or not. And I'm leaving links in the description box to where you can find this kit out on Amazon. And by the way, if you're into drones and gadgets, you're in the right place, my friend. I make videos like this all the time, also on all kinds of drones and just all a variety of gadgets. Consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to click that bell that way you'll know when I upload new videos and I would definitely appreciate your support. In the meantime, be good to somebody, be good to yourself. I'll see you in the next one, y'all. Later. <laughs>